Hello everybody and welcome to Half-Life. This is a game that was forced upon me by Nevernamed and a game that I've never Hi. actually played before. Hello. I've uh, I've never played Half-Life. I've I mean I've I've always sort of been interested but I've always thought I was a little bit past it and it was going to be a bit too much of an older game for me but Nevernamed has convinced me to play it with with him along for the ride. Uh, and I think it's a pretty pretty good idea. Um obviously as you can see he's made a very nice thumbnail for it and everything. Uh but yes, yeah, so we're going to be playing through both of the Half-Life games and yeah just seeing how it goes we're playing half-life one star obviously yeah. um so, and yeah i don't know anything about either of these games really i mean it's surprising but i really don't know the story or anything about them there's a gravity gun a man with a crowbar that's kind of all i know yeah the obviously anyone who loves half-life knows that there are some parts of the original that you know we look back with rose tinted glasses but there are some parts of the original that are a bit clunky and so i'm sort of here to make sure he doesn't get frustrated so we're going to start with a new game. Uh, let's start with the training room. The training room's like the game tutorial for the controls. Okay. I love the movement already. Ooh. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of a hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will... Got it. Oh, God. <laughs> you managed to die <laughs> in, like, the first minute of the hazard course. I tried to jump on the ledge and fell off. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by Well done. Uh, also, <laughs> F6 to quick save. Oh, nice one. Cool. If Love you see one of these buttons... Yeah, that, uh, something that I get used to a lot because I love Half-Life, I suck at video games. Honestly, uh, ha I have played Skyrim on PC. I know the, the, the plight of the quick save. Like, I am, I am very, very well versed in the quick save. Slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. Like a second skin, there we go. Yeah, you want to wear a second skin, Toidle? Toidle? I'm but yes. I can climb on. This is actually a uh, canon, if I recall correctly. The training course for Gordon I employment. Basically, he has to know how to use the equipment. I think, I think it's a <laughs> clever way of working it in. Uh, you're very rarely ever <laughs> stuck. There's probably a ladder somewhere. I don't think there is. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Ah, that's what that door's for. Little if secrets. the game wants if the game wants to kill you, it'll kill you. If you don't die, there's probably a way back up. Will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes. Don't using molest the hologram. Jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me, and then try it yourself. Don't molest the hologram. Good work. Those new suits can be tricky. Please proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note you're, you're doing so well. I'm so proud Yay. of you. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Very good. It's this man. It's the, it's the old dude. From the, the memes. <laughs> I love how you know who he is from the memes. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. You'll get it eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you just slammed your face into the pipe. I. You knew the duck jump already. I've played Proud Source games. <laughs> nice job. It's very similar to any Source game, like TF2. I know that this isn't Source Engine, or at least isn't the same Source Engine, but um, it's sim similar controls. I've already been a lot of bitch. I don't know. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite. Stop hard. molesting the hologram. <laughs> if you miss the last one a time or two, <laughs> if you can make all three Keep in a trying. continuous run, you'll get it. You are doing well. Oh. What the heck? The jump, the jump distance is a bit weird. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're real. You're, you're getting. You're gonna be a real speed runner someday. What box did I just pick up? Wait, Maybe you should listen to the tutorial character. What she says in. Interact with the uh, thing to pre hear it again. The uh, oh yeah, flashlight with F. Uh, Uh, yeah, so you have to sort of duck while moving and then jump and to trigger a long jump. It's kind of weird. Oh my god, jump. yeah, okay. Yeah, that's one of the things that is kind of finicky about the controls, but it's also weird that they teach it to you now because you don't, like, get that ability until the very end of the game. All right. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing... Hi! There's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any Wait a minute. <laughs> no, close enough. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> you will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. Ooh, I love that noise. It's the it's the old the old healing noise. Gary's mod has taught me this. Until you are at Where'd you hear that in Gary's mod? Any of these machines, you can spawn them. You can? Yeah. Surprised. I gotta say, you can use a lot of stuff in uh, in Gary's mod from the Half-Life games. I gotta say, I remember, like, me, me and my friend making, like, a zombie survival mission. It was basically all based on Half-Life uh, zombies and Half-Life health kits and stuff. I see. Yeah, there is something charming to this hazard course. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's cool. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you need... If you can't You're just rushing the past. Out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pulling pull it? Box, move up oh, God. And press your use key. Did I mention oh, the, the oh, box oh. eating? To keep a grip on the box. <laughs> Yeah, I've already explained to him that boxes move really weird when you interact with them. <laughs> Stop molesting the box. <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry, what was that, pray tell? I think I fucked it. No, oh, no, it's fine, oh, you can always the beastie. pull oh, the box. I killed it. You killed Frank! What the... In all my years, I've never seen a man quite like you. <laughs> Don't interact with the box. Just push it with your <laughs> fat body. Yes. What, what, where the fuck am I now? What the fuck's going on? Okay. It's, stop, stop I'm moving not, like a I'm not swinging. What's happening? I'm not even swinging anymore. Stop. I don't know what that was. That was strange. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. 15%. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Let's go. Welcome to the Black Mesa. Ooh, Park, we get guns now. Noise. Training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. And advance to the fire. Oh fuck! I almost killed myself. Yeah, you're gonna blow your. You're you're going to You'll blow yourself up. Blow yourself. In order to complete. The Don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire. Yeah, Half-Life pretty much set up a lot of standards for modern shooters. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I think that's one of the big things that people, like, sort of say about Half-Life is that it kind of created the modern shooter. Sensitivity is a little high, but it's fine. You can turn down the sensitivity if you want. Yeah, I might do. I'm just, I'm just scared to use the settings because the game might crash again. Oh, remember, you can quick save anytime you want, so. Oh, yeah, good idea. Black 
Boom bow. Your ATV Shit. Wim. Yeah, so a lot of stuff like uh, swimming mechanics and stuff like this. Returning to its previous level. It, it feels pretty redundant to explain it in a tutorial like this, but at the time... Yeah, it was completely this new. Is, this is pretty much setting the standard for a lot of things that will become commonplace. Nice. I'm having fun. I was anything under the stairs, I got a chair. Damn it, no. You stood on another cockroach. I did. This stood on all the boogies. Unit for your hazardous that was a horrible noise. If you pass fire. I don't need I don't need suit power. I hate the noise. <laughs> oh shit, that's killing me. What have you done now? That's what she's trying to tell you. Genius. I like this the power to jump, it's fun. Woo! Please advance to the next area. I'm trying. Where, where's the next area? The elevator. Oh, I've got to back with it. Okay, I see. That's one thing that I always find interesting about um, playing older games. Because normally when you see an old texture like that, like a really sort of, sort of not very high quality, you assume it's not interactable on a, on a more modern game. But that's just because the graphics weren't good then. Because <laughs> everything looks like that. Yeah. By the way, don't shoot... Security guards. God, his head's fucking massive. And press Look at this man. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Right. Come here, you. Sure, okay, I'll wait here. Sure, I'll follow you. Come on. What are you doing? Get in the elevator, you cunt. Wait, you're meant to take him to the to the security doors. I wanted to send him off in the elevator. Sure, I'll follow you. Yes, let me take care of that wound for you. Thank you. Heal me, doctor. Okay. I'm... Yes, don't worry. I am a doctor. Ah! Thank you. You just got jabbed, boy. Yes, so staff around the facility can aid you. Security guards have guns. Scientists can heal you, and they also have security clearance that you may need to get through certain areas. Look at that. Oh. You're appreciating the, the, the 1990s skybox? Ah, movement keys. W is increased train speed. You can press it again to make the train go faster. I see, I see. Yeah, and when you're in the train menu, S undoes it. Okay, so that was the basic sort of movement and gameplay tutorial. Noise. Now, we're ready for a proper game. I'd say medium. You're not a baby. Let's go! Good morning. The game begins on a train. I'll just let you take this in. I've seen this before, or is it maybe the Half-Life 2 one that I've seen before? Because Half-Life 2 starts on a train as well, doesn't it? The time yes. Is this is me. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of... There's so much stuff happening around you in this opening sequence, it's really quite admirable for a game of its time. Yeah, definitely. By the way, I'm not 100% sure how dialogue heavy is this game. In the opening, not very. In, oh, in the opening, sorry, not very in general. In the opening is when it's the most dialogue heavy. Because I gotta say, I, 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 I don't mind it being a lot of dialogue. It just means obviously we can't talk as much. <laughs> no, yeah, there'll be plenty of time to talk. Trust me. I love the fact that when you jump, like, that it doesn't register that you're inside it and just like pulls you back. They, they haven't. Come on, it's it's the 1990s. They haven't figured out moving <laughs> platforms yet. Come on. This, what do you think this is, Mario? <laughs> oh. Okay. 
toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa. Damn, transistor. I can't bring my Cheetos in. I'm guessing I'm not wearing that. That, that has a suit at the minute, am I? You're not wearing the suit yet, no. Didn't think so. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, what up? It's like Doctor again. I'm guessing we'll see him quite a lot. <laughs> Because all the NPCs look like him. Considering there's only like <laughs> yeah. four scientist models, yeah. I mean, it could be worse. You could have. It could be the security guard who only has one model. Poor bastard. Poor fella. Everyone is Barnet. Who else Barnet? Let's go! Yeah, this whole intro is basically Valve flexing. Yeah, I can, I can definitely tell that. <laughs> like, at the time, right, for a game of its kind, the, the character models of the NPCs and entities are bone-based. It's bone-based character rigging, which feels pretty standard nowadays. Yeah, but, but then it was like completely at, new. At the time, at the time it was like, it can't be done, what are you, crazy? Like, there are people who wouldn't take Valve up to like help produce the game because they believed that the goal of bone-based character rigging was too ambitious. Crazy shit, that. I'm gonna say it's crazy how like, like you said, how much this game did for the industry. I love loaders. They're, they're pretty that big cool. yellow, that big yellow thing is a loader. I love them. They look a bit like um, what's a beetle called? If you know what I mean. I don't know. Do you? <laughs> they look like no, uh, stag, no stag beetles a bit. No, they don't. What kind of fucking stag beetles are you even front. looking at? Gold pincers. A lot of big back pincers. Haven't you heard of the scientific principle that everything over time becomes crab? <laughs> yes. Crab people. I am become crab, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> the textures aren't even as bad as I saw they'd be. Th that one that was outside the window was pretty horrendous, but like... For how old this game is, I thought they were going to be worse than they are. They're, they're bad, but they're bad in a charming way. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, they're not an eyesore. No, you're not at your stop yet. Yeah, fuck. Oh, it's G-Man. I see you know enough to know about him. Yes. Isn't he, he's the guy that just, like, follows you throughout the entire game but never actually, like, speaks to you, isn't he? Yes, he's, he's your stalker. You can just, like, see him, like, all throughout the game just watching you. Yeah, if you look in the right places. Stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you. I don't got Have shit a with me. Safe and productive day. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Shut up, big head. Well, what's going on it's with this helmet? <laughs> Every time he pressed oh, yeah, the button, I... his jaw went all weird. Everyone in the facility has triangle mouths. Nice. Oh, you're not, you're not, you don't have access permit. Don't fucking die in the first area after the train. Get away from the panel. <laughs> it's like, it's like dealing with a toddler with you, I swear. <laughs> yes. Oh. I like jumping on things. It's fun. Yeah, I can the tell. Game has, the game has really satisfying movement as well. Yeah, that's the sort of thing. I was doing a lot of Half-Life playing, and then I remembered, like, I should play some uh, more Fallout New Vegas. The god, I felt like a slug. You just moved yeah. so fast in Half-Life. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. 
you can interact with them by pressing the use key or congrats you've graduated the first thing that everyone does in this game you'll just have to wait until I love that. What are you doing? He's doing very important science, can't you tell? I really wanted to walk away and see if, it's, see if it keeps me in his head. God damn it. Move away. Ah, hello, Gordon. I can't, I can't be bothered right now. Can we do this later? Sorry, Mr. Freeman, I got uh, explicit uh, orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Oh, shit, okay. I wonder if I should... Yeah, you so gotta go get suited up. Now, there are certain things in this opening area you can interact with. You supposed to be in Just little secrets. Like that. Ago. Yes, or like the microwave. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? My god, what are you doing? You'll just have to wait until... We'll it's stuff wait. like that that made Half-Life so popular. Yeah. Things that get other games just didn't do. Yeah, just, now, like... Where did I, why did the ability to, to blow up a casserole. <laughs> like, I never would have asked for it in a game, but it's nice that it's here. Stop trying to... <laughs> Oh my god, you are a menace. I expected. They do they do be shitting. Don't say it like that, <laughs> you gremlin of a man. Ta da! Boot acquired. To the H E V Mark Protected. H E V Mark IV, my beloved. Do we still have the Mark 4 in the next in Half-Life 2 or is that a new version? You have the Mark 5. Oh my. What is this tunage going on right now? I don't know, I assume the uh the Mark 4 has inbuilt <laughs> inbuilt groove. <laughs> groove subroutines initiating. This is actually so groovy. What the fuck? <laughs> it's so strange. What do you mean? Damn it. <laughs> I had to try it. It's, it is a very satisfying crunch when you hit the ground, I will say. I saved just before as well, so... I love the way that you're just you like, to... dead and you can still... You have to press a button, I realise. Yeah. 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 I feel like that was a one thing with older games that the newer games just don't have anymore. Is not really letting you know what you're meant to be doing. Like, older games gave you basically no guidance, and they're like, the button's just like a grey fucking texture rather than like a big red button with like, press me. I feel like games nowadays, like you play The Last of Us, and it just plasters every single direction you're supposed to go with yellow markers, like this way, this way, this way. And it's like, older games just was like, nah, fuck you, if you can't find it, tough, tough shit. Yeah, pretty much. There are some areas in Half-Life that could use a bit more, you know, hey, telegraphing, but... Uh, mostly you're just pretty well guided where you need to go. The glass disappears. It, just, it literally doesn't render if you stood here. Oh wait, no, is I... it fading in and out? Wait a minute, it's fading in and out. Okay, that's weird. I thought I thought it just wasn't I, rendering. I don't know. Magic. <laughs> They're working on some funky shit here at Black Mesa. Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sleep down to the test right now. now. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to Ooh. some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. God, that sounds scary. That scares me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Yeah, uh, one famous interpretation that I've seen is that uh, I've never heard anyone speak in italics before. <laughs> it's about to go critical. Terror going on with our equipment. It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. 
Oh no. Safe. Science. Fucked. Keep in mind that this is in the same universe as Portal. Yeah. <laughs> with these guys being the main competitors to Aperture Science. They are not doing well so far, but that looks things. That's why you're here. I'm afraid we'll be deviating Access a bit from denied. standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. Crotch to the face, which are! Crotch to the face, which are! Crotch to the face, which are! Stop molesting the scientists. Now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how standard to do insertion that. procedures. I will admit oh my. The possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Best part yeah. is go that ahead. those That's like tiny that. weird quirks of line delivery, like nothing will go wrong. <laughs> I've just been immortalized forever. Yeah. It's time to do some science. Ah, oh, I was hoping I'd fall in there and die. Oh, you oh. can once it turns on. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors... I just did, dickhead. Uh, no, the button wasn't uncovered. Uh. There we go. Now you're about to learn why Gordon has a PhD. Pretty huge dick. Uh, that too. <laughs> I still maintain that this is one of the best openings ever. Yeah, I'm gonna say so far it's very good. And I I've been saying this a lot, but for a game of its time, especially if you consider, you know, other stuff that was going on at the time, this was yeah, very yeah. unique. Let's see if we can land on one of those things that was spinning around it. You can land on most things, actually. We've got to try it then, haven't we? Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't jump. It's fine. I love the way you climb ladders in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, ladders and Half-Life notoriously don't get along. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> The delivery system, the sample is here, and it's your Ooh. job to to make people know that PhD was worth the money by pushing a cart. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking oh, yeah. eat that thing. Yeah, you pushed it wrong. You pushed Let it me too out. Wrong. Let me out. I like the way that this is like just random circuit bits just on the door, <laughs> like imposed onto the texture. We call those locks. That looks like a fucking um, bit of a circuit why board. Why are you debating this now? <laughs> there are more pressing matters. <laughs> I'm interested in the door. So, am I the Hulk now? Shit's busted. Oh my god. Oh, hello. That's some funny looking dogs. Hey. 
Well, that was interesting. Unforeseen consequences. Unforeseen consequences. Why is the spaghetti all over the room? And now, the real fun begins. Don't molest the corpse. Okay. Don't stop that. Stop what you're doing. Aliens. Did you just heal me? <laughs> uh, no, you walked over a med kit that was on the ground that you okay. weren't even looking at. <laughs> Mate, there's like thousands of these guys. All the same, leave him be. He's got like 14,000 brothers. It's the Somalians about. Elevator still works. That's Very good. bold of you to take the elevator in these circumstances. It's very bold of the elevator to fucking work. What up, guys? I didn't they listen. I didn't warn them. Oh, it's a head crab. <laughs> what up, fella? You're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. I'm Rosalind really talking to me. Scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. What up, fella? It's cute. Friend. Access denied. What am I doing exactly? It, you'll, he said you'll need him to activate the retinal scanners. You've been wounded. Let's try this. Have I been that much of the way? Fucking move, you stupid bastard! Well, he, he's he's stuffing because you were close and you were wounded, so he's trying to heal you, and then you run out of range. He was like, "Okay, <laughs> no medicine for you." Stop molest, Eli. Oh fuck me! Ow! Eli, come here. Heal me up. Hey, what are you doing? The administrator just yes, yes, it appears that you need medical attention right I do. Now. Let's try this. Try Again. I certainly hope you I'm glad to oblige a fellow scientist. Guys, shit. This is as far as I go. We're on our way though. Hey little fella. Oh they, they are very cute. I, I do love <laughs> head crabs. I love them. They're cute. And I know people who tell me that I'm insane for thinking that. But I think they're cute. cute. I like them. Fuck me. You know the the laser <gasps> pipes. Yeah. So this is where you receive the first weapon. Those people. So are what you were saying before about ele elevators. Um. Oh look. Chunky bits. Mm. Chunky man bits. It's got an ear. Oh yeah, um, the skull jib textures have no uh, right being as tech as uh, graphic as they are. If you look yeah. at the front, they still have like eyes and skin and shit. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going now? I don't know why you chose to go to the bottom of the elevator shaft. I thought it was the point. <laughs> I'm Rose was under the ladder, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you know, it happens. <laughs> Beat him up. Yeah, so one thing you'll learn about Half-Life is you can, like, choose to be a real dick to your fellow scientists. Nice. Like, you don't have to keep people alive. You can actually attack friendly NPCs and kill them if you want to. Oh, damn, this thing just won't die. I'm on such low health. <laughs> You're sort of meant to run past the first few enemies uh, until you can get your hands on a gun. Aww. Didn't even get to have his meal. 
so sad. Would you believe me if I told you that the casserole is a returning plot point? Oh, thank god. <laughs> hey, fella. What? him in the fucking face. Hey, fella. How's it going? Look at that little butt. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm dead. There is a med station in that room, so... We'll be fine, just avoid... Oh, the fucking bitch just explodes as soon as I walk in! I've got to trigger it, then, like, back out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, to your right. More to the right. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I saw it. Right. More oh, like I've 180 got to hold degrees. it. I see. I've got to hold it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a hold sort of thing. They have a limited amount of heal juice in them, you see. And you can drain the heal juice from your own perverse uses. This is what I'll set from now on. You just live here now. This is yep. the game. Half-Life. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> This is just what people thought gaming was in, in the 1990s. I'm not firing a gun, what's happening here? That's a... That's bizarre. It's, it's I think that's just glass, the, isn't it? Like... the impact... <laughs> maybe, I, I, I'm not 100% sure, I'll be frank. Oh, look at him, he's chilling. Look at this dude. What are you watching? Pawn? Nice. That's a real good laptop you got there. It's got a screen on the back. Awesome. Laptops, the technology of the future. Hey, man. Find out this mystery, just in case. Yeah, so now you've got your hands on a firearm, things should go a lot smoother. And you meet another fan favorite enemy. I've never seen that in my life. What the fuck is that thing? Does that thing teleport? What the fuck's going on here? I hate the noise it makes, my god. Butthole dog. These are hound eyes. Butthole dogs. Hound eyes move in packs and uh, use sonic weaponry to attack you. They're one of the many aliens from the original game that didn't make it into Half-Life 2. So what do you think so far from first impressions? I'm enjoying myself a lot. <laughs> I I'm very glad. I knew you would like it. I knew you would like it. I knew I'd like it too. I just kind of thought I was past it, but I'm just averse to playing really old games. And it's a stupid thing that I have. I really shouldn't be. But... Calm the fuck down. My god. <laughs> little hidey hole bitch boy here. Ain't getting out anymore. This is my so hiding funny. spot. So and funny. I'm not leaving until the situation has oh drastically improved. Lord. I don't have any ammo. And he just took a 40 health in one hit. Yeah, Vortigaunts do a lot of damage. Bye-sies. A lot of the game is moving through the Black Mesa facility and trying to find your way around its bizarrely labyrinthian geometry. Oh shit, this may have been a bad idea. I'm gonna drown. What a pet crap. Look to the ceiling. I dropped chill. He figured it out. He figured it out. Why'd you go back in? I'm checking to see if there's any little secrets. 
Fair, you know, that's fair. I might drown, but... Uh, health you lose while underwater is regained when you start breathing again. Okay. So as long as you don't Ow. drop completely to zero, uh, you're good. We'll see if I can get him to drop in the yeah. water. Oh. You know, the poo pipe. Poo pipe. The Black Mesa poo pipe system. Aim assist is fucking weird. You can oh, turn shit. that off if you want. You can turn off the uh, the aim assist. Ah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, oh! Whoa! <laughs> Way! Away it goes! I love this section. <laughs> I love this section so much. The best part is when they jump at you and they just fly over your head and into the water. Oh, there was one on me! Shit, I must do the whole thing again, aren't I? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's mostly just a ride. <laughs> Since they just sort of fly Yeet! past. Oh, I really thought I could make it to the water. Oh, no, I can. Oh, it just kills you anyways, though. That's a shame. <laughs> you can probably avoid the, the death, but it, it'd be difficult. Like, I... I'm pretty sure what killed you there was uh, actually full damage. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, you don't need to kill oh! most of these guys. Hey! They'll just die on their own. <laughs> Woo! Go for it, boy. Jump. Oh, no. He just gave up. He thought, he's like, <laughs> I don't, he didn't want to come into work today. He failed head crab school. Also, there's one currently on the platform menacing you. I think. Oh no, it just jumped over your head to its death. <laughs> I love the entity die crunch noise. Yeah. That's probably the fucker that killed you. This one's just off to work. He's like, nah, mate, fuck you. I'm out of here. Dog. Here in a box. There's a dog in a box. There can be supplies in boxes like this if you break them. Now, the, this is something they fixed with uh, Half Life 2, but it doesn't. Like, boxes that have supplies are unmarked compared to boxes that don't. So it can be a little frustrating sometimes. Yeah. You fat bitch. Uh, that's what happens when I step on a bridge. Broke up by walking into it. It was a fragile boy. The oh, fuck's this squid boy? That's a bull squid. He does not like the head crabs, does he? No, uh, bull squids hunt head crabs. They also shoot toxic spit at you. Woo! That killed me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you jumped off of a ledge and landed on like... your. Face. It was like one foot. Squiddies. I like these things. You do, do you? Jumanji! Oh, pick me up, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I want to get eaten. You want... Okay, four fetishists. Eat me. 
Oh, I think even that I think that one's lazy. There you go. Oh no, there it is. I, I think they just have a bit of difficulty picking up swimming entities. 